Good afternoon, 3.10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today is Thursday. We have a daily chart right here on the S&P 500. We gave a warning out, and we did. And I'm going to show you right now. We said that we were overbought and that we were going to come down, and we are. And one of the things that we want to show you here on the channel, you can see right here. Uh, S&P 500, you can go over here and look for the S&P 500 and the other indexes. Bull market, 428. Look at what it says. Look at what it says. S&P 500, there's lots of them in here. We gave everybody a warning. We were so overbought. It had a bad odor to it, and it did. And we gave out the information before it ever happened, and we did. So go back and take a look at all of your S&P 500 live videos. We give it to you before it's actually going to tank. And we also do that in everything that we do with the stock market, knowing how to take action before it happens, not after the fact. Here we have is that daily chart. We hit that trend line right here, which is major support right here, where we have that gap. That's at 2,900 level. I can say as of right now, the next support level is going to be right around, let's say, 2,879 and whatnot. And then we're going to keep working as we go below her. Here's another thing. Here's the weekly channel right now on... Um, the S&P 500 index, we were so overbought, it was pathetic, and it was, and yes, the great bull run best since 1987, and it was a great rally for four months, but we're in the fifth month, and we're overbought, and I have gave you the warning before that this was going to come down, and on the weekly chart, we're just going to take a look at you can see the diagonal trend line from the lows when we made these great moves in the last four months. And they're right here. And this is the weekly one for May. And it's already at a red bar, like we said. Bull markets do have to pull back. And you got to make money on both sides. On the weekly chart, I just would like to say one thing. When we were peaking up here, we were going to come down and whatnot and so some of the technical indicators were so overbought that you couldn't help but buy the s p yesterday at 29.50 put options and you'd be raking in a gold chest right about now this is the weekly chart right here and whatnot from the rallies that we have pullbacks will be strong back to the daily chart you can see exactly where we came down we hit that 2900 and if we break that, there's really good long-term support for a while, be right around 28, 25 and whatnot. If we break below this and continue the selling, which I believe that we will, and we will. And it doesn't matter about Chinese news. It doesn't matter about any of that. What it is, is, is that we've gone parabolically straight up. Earnings season is winding down. Um, we enjoy having you. We enjoy giving you the uh, live uh, content and what we say before it happens so once again I'm going to conclude it right here 2950 on this daily chart and we're getting ready to go lower I will update everyone tomorrow in the morning as we see what happens